couple strollers here. Definitely no big payday, but I found this last night. My home shoe rack light here. Problem is these lights burn out. Um, the bulb burns out, and it's just so expensive to get a bulb. And they're really kind of not efficient. They're like 400 watts. Not worth it for power wise. They get super hot after all, so a lot of guys don't want to use them. Can't leave them. They're dangerous. But uh, as soon as you know the bulb overheats after all, or if you touch it with your finger, the grease on your finger uh, actually damages the bulb, so you have to use gloves to put the bulb in. Anyways, I'm cruising my area a little bit. Um, hopefully, you know, I'm gonna go back to the yard. I gotta clean the side of my garage out, but I figured at least run around, maybe something will pop up between here and there. Like, you know, a couple things here, but I gotta process still lots of things. I got rid of today four printers today. I didn't have one video there, but got rid of four. Uh, one, one was really good actually, had a real decent board. It was a big, big printer, but it was it was good. And then one was really poor. One had really nothing in it. I don't know how you, how it worked. Like I think it was just a printer, and it had uh, uh, basically the, the software was on your computer, and it just printed. Like there was no brain on the on the thing. It had nothing there. No IC chips. Nothing. I don't know how it even operates, but one of those old school type. Not old school, but real cheap ones. If you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, cruising the area here. I just give you a view of some of the houses in my area. I don't live exactly in this area, but you know this kind of gives an idea of what this is Surrey, Surrey area, what it looks like. Looks like you know it kind of looks like almost like any town in America, but when you get into Vancouver, it looks way different than this. Could almost pass off like a small town or something, but. But, uh, you know, in, in America, you get old areas where the houses are old. These are basically built in the 70s, 60s and 70s, these areas. And that's what you're getting, that style of home. But anywhere in America, I mean, it goes back to the 1880s, 1900, 1910. There's many, many homes, right? Versus here, a lot of those old homes are long gone. But Surrey is relatively a newer. Well, it goes back, but we're just kind of a newer area. You go to some areas, it's really old. But there's no old buildings left anymore, like really old storefronts. They're all long gone. There's nothing out there. Last one was the Flamingo Hotel was an older building. That was even 50s, right? But, you know, maybe there's nothing out here back then. But, like, you know, if you get to, like, Cloverdale or different areas, there is some old parts of town. But a lot of it's been uh, destroyed or rebuilt. No heritage left. It's like, you know, if you go in the States, every town's got, a, like, a, a main road, right? You got a city hall, you got a bunch of churches, a main road, and they got old storefronts and stuff. You don't have it here. You got King George Highway, but anything that was old on that highway is gone. There's really nothing there. Time. Sign of the times, if you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, let's see if something pops up. I'll keep filming. Stay tuned. Yeah, one of the stoves that had, actually had aluminum face on it. Kind of makes it nice. I think some guys are doing a lot of repairs here on the stove. Those cheap repairs. Hmm. Put a new lights in it or something. LEDs. Looks like uh, my yard's pretty clean. I got some heavier metal here, so that's it. Printers a lot less printers now. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'd say about twenty-five printers probably left. Here's a mortar I want to strip actually. Whew. 
it's a heavy one. Compressor off a of fridge. Wow, that's pretty big. It's like to do that when I have a little more daylight. Problems days get short now. Whirlpool sounds American, but who knows nowadays? Okay, steel. Nice little skin. Aluminum dolphin today. Can't leave nothing. Up. Can't leave nothing up here. Gotta be all locked up. Anything good? Wire. So all my stripping wire here. Get this box in here. Okay. Okay, well, start pulling some stuff out to start cleaning the area. I'm going to clean this up here a little bit. And then we'll show you a little progress as we keep moving stuff. Okay, here's the thing that came off the stove. It's got some screws in here, but I don't have the size right now on me. But see what's in there? All that brass in there. Some sort of uh, control, you know, for... Um, a relay system like I mean it's got a lot of brass you know you don't tip off is when you see the brass leads when you see the brass leads you know it's gonna be brass all kinds of relays any type of relay it's gonna have lots of brass like especially if it's in a big container like this definitely worth uh, stripping you know and it, and it has good contact real thick contacts on there you have to determine if they're uh, gonna be silver or not I'm not sure but Anyways, that's what you have to look for. Got the wire here. Just a non-stop cleaning. Once I get most of the shelves all cleaned off and organized, should make a big difference. Should make a big difference. But all the stuff here, I'm gonna show you. I think it's mostly from today, all this stuff. All this little micro scrap and brass and stuff. The mortar here. A little mortar here. It's all brass, brass contacts. A piece of copper here. there so it's worth like I say a little bit of brass little brass there and valves and stuff it sure adds up pretty fast okay, I'm gonna take that little thing apart for now okay
Okay, so I'll start moving stuff around here. So clean that side out completely would be nice. Get these tanks out of here. I got about these 40, 50 tanks probably. They're all basically empty. Tees. Hmm. Kind of need the air to get those baskets this way, so I may have to move stuff. But I've been, uh, I've seen more tanks, but I'll st stop taking them now just until I get what I have cleaned. It's getting too far behind. I'll have to set up a jig or something, you know, and then basically that will be a little station or something where I can. Some tanks feel heavier than others. I don't, I don't, they feel empty, but. They just feel heavier. I mean, some are a little bit older. It's 10 right there, 12. But they'll give me like a number one steel for this. So it should be a little bit better in price. Okay. Should keep moving stuff over. Found the rim, so the road. Awesome. That's a bonus. Aluminum wheel right on the way home. Heavy one too, so perfect. I just saw that shine on top of it. I knew it's gonna be a good wheel. Looks like a Dodge or something. It's aluminum, it's heavy. Um, not too big of a tire either, like it's lower profile, so that's good. Happy with that. It's right there. Awesome, just how much just put it out? He's raking his yard. Lucky spin, right? It's probably like 10, 12 dollars aluminum, probably. I don't think I got 59 cents last time, but the way they're talking, prices dropped. Uh, who knows? Who 
who really knows with those guys there? You know, it's just because I think it's the American economy has dropped for for them selling. Because, uh, well, I mean, I can never seen aluminum so cheap ever. I remember like 35 years ago, I was getting 40, 45 cents. 35 years ago. How could it just go down to nothing? It's not a worthless metal, you know. I just can't believe it, it's just disgusting. Anyways, that's it for the yard. Uh, I raked most of the yard, I still have weeds there and I'll see my brother give me a hand just to move some of the heavier stuff. I might, uh, I think I'm gonna have to do is do a load of aluminum and stuff and stainless steel and stuff and get rid of those big gates and all that because just in case the price goes haywire in the next couple days, I might as well get rid of it. And I'll hold off on stripping those uh, heat exchangers. I'll do them tomorrow. I'll not tomorrow, I'll do them uh, Monday. If I have no jobs Monday, I'll do it Monday. If not, uh, if I have inspection, I'll do Tuesday. I need a whole day here because there's three of them there and they're really big and massive. So I need to be able to get a good video and a good film of what's in there. I know a lot of people are asking questions if I still have it or what's going on. But uh, I do have them and I need to get them off my truck too because I have a hot water tank near the end of the month to pick up. The guy told me he'll pay me $100 to take it away and it's a real heavy commercial one. It's supposed to be really big. I use a forklift to get it on my truck. So be looking forward for that. Okay, don't forget to uh, subscribe and share. Uh, thumbs up if you like. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.